That ones we have been live here more than 650 years ago inside this area. But in 1983, it was agreement with the past king to have a village up on the top for the school for the services. And now we have the village, but there's still like uh, 50, 60 family who is living in a cave because it was Bedouin choice to move from the area. Not, not, it's not a government idea. And now we have a school, we have services. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Whole, whole children go to school, you know. And it's, uh, we have water, we have electric, we have all surfaces, oh. people happy. And inside the area here, 95% of people who are working here, they are from the Bedouins, from the local people. Are you a citizen of Jordan? Yeah, yeah. South of Jordan, you can tell... Uh, Ma? Ma'an, Ma Lisa, Husseiniya, Katrana, to the south. This is all uh, Bedouin tribe. But in this moment, uh, it's a bit few tourists. Yeah. But this is a normal every year. The tourists ca can be less, can be more, you know. No, we it's are, less. But uh, the other side, uh, on the other hand, we are happy with our life. You okay. see, we are making the fire, yeah. sitting, have tea, talking with people like you. I also drink tea in the top with uh, Bedouin women. Yeah, in general here, you know, uh, Jordanian people, they have very nice hospitality. Yeah. I see. The uh, Bedouins or whatever, where you go in Jordan, you find uh, nice welcoming and people, uh, they have very nice hospitality. And you speak Arabian? Yeah, Bedouins are uh, Arabian, yeah. And we are happy with that. Yeah. It's our life. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank All you. the best and we hope you are enjoying it. Thank you. All the best. Shukran Jazeera. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum.